to another episode of my mom's recipe box I'm really glad you're here today we have a real treat for you um, it's kind of like a sad thing good thing <laughs> so uh, right now as we're filming it's uh, it's August and it's time for the county fair to be going on and Mark and I go to the fair every single year. And before we got married, I went to the fair with my family every single year, okay? Missed it, I think, one time in my whole life. So anyway, unfortunately, because of COVID, there's no fair. And this is just heartbreaking to me because I love the fair so much. And one of the things I love the most about the fair is the food. So what we're going to do today on my mom's recipe box is we're going to make one of my favorite fair foods, which is funnel cake. And funnel cake is really easy to make, okay? You can, um, what we're going to do today is we're going to use a pancake mix, some almond milk, a couple of eggs. I don't even have to say vanilla, but um, I'll say it. Uh, some cinnamon, and we're going to actually use a funnel. Uh, to make our funnel cakes. So this is a really easy recipe to do. Um, the most dangerous part is just going to be using the funnel over a skillet of, of hot oil. <laughs> but it's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. So come on back and we'll get started on this recipe. Come back. Okay guys, welcome back. We're going to mix the uh, batter together right now and then we're going to get ready to fry our funnel cakes. So come over here. We're gonna start with the wet ingredients first. So I've got two eggs here. And I'm just gonna crack those in. There's nothing in the bowl except eggs, so I don't have to uh, crack them one at a time. Actually, I might. <laughs> it might not have been a bad idea. Okay, so that's two eggs, and this is one and a half cups of almond milk. You can use regular milk. We're just using almond milk because that's all we have. Okay. So I've got a whisk and I'm just going to stir this stuff up together. Get the yolk broken. And then to this, we're going to add a splash of vanilla extract. Okay. That looks good. Okay, stir this up. And then we're going to add our dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. And the dry ingredients are two cups of pancake mix, or you can use two cups of Bisquick, or you can use two cups of flour. Uh, if you use the flour, um, add uh, two teaspoons of baking powder, okay? So what we have in here is the two cups of pancake mix, um, a pinch of salt, and about a teaspoon of cinnamon, okay? And I'm just gonna put this right in here. And we stir it around with the fork uh, just to kind of get everything mixed up in there. Even if you're just using flour and baking powder, you still wanna give it a stir just to, to sort of aerate the flour and um, make sure everything is going to be mixed up nicely. I heard somebody say one time that uh, stirring through the flour is the like, millennials way of sifting. I don't know if that's true or not, but I know I hate to sift. So, And then we're just going to mix this up. Get all the lumps out. Now you don't want this to be super thick because you're going to be passing it through a funnel, okay? And this feels a little bit thick to me. So I think that I'm gonna add a little bit of almond milk, a little bit of extra almond milk to it. Okay, let's just give it a little bit of extra almond milk. Almond milk is not really that appetizing looking, I don't think. <laughs> I know, who cares, right? Okay, so 
So this is this is kind of where you want it. Not too runny, but not too thick. And you know, as you're frying, the batter that's sitting here is actually going to thicken up a little bit. Okay, so hopefully that'll work good. Okay, so guys, when we come back, we're going to fry up some funnel cakes, and I'll show you how to make them. Okay, come back. Hi guys, welcome back. So we are making the funnel cakes now. So we've got our funnel and we've got our batter. And I want to let you know that the batter that I did um, was actually a little bit too thin. So I ended up adding probably about half a cup more of the pancake batter or the pancake mix to get the batter thicker. Because what happened with me was the batter was too thin and when I held the funnel over the oil, it just just went in, you know, I didn't even have time to make a funnel design. It tasted good, but it's not a funnel cake. So if you want to come over here, we will got my finger on the bottom of the funnel and I'm pouring in a little less than a cup of the batter. Okay. And then I'm going to remove my finger and then we're just going to swirl in the funnel cake. And you want to get it kind of tight in the middle so that you can flip it. Okay. All right. And then what you want to do now is you want to take your tongs and you want to kind of move it around. Okay. Just kind of move it around. You know, you can see how it's getting brown very quickly. So I'm going to turn my oil down a little bit. There we go. This is going to go quick, guys. This is going to be like 30 to 45 seconds. And we're just going to get in here. And we're going to give it a flip. And then another few seconds. And we're going to pull this out of the pan. And what you want to do when you pull them out of the pan is that's when you want to dust them with a little powdered sugar, okay? While they're nice and hot. Okay. He's ready to go. Okay, guys, I'm going to make a couple more of these, and when we come back, it's going to be time to taste. Okay, come back. Welcome back, everybody. Look at a beautiful funnel cake with a dusting of powdered sugar on the top, just like at the fair. Okay, so now it's time that we get to taste. So um, I have a guest taster with me today and she was also uh, one of our cameramen, camera people, videographer, whatever. Anyway, um, babe, you wanna come in and bring Laurel with you? <laughs> She's shy. <laughs> okay, everybody, so. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, okay. Wait. <laughs> okay, so mm. you want to try a piece? Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. I could close my eyes and almost think I was at the fair, not mm -hmm. quite, but this is a nice consolation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sweet, crispy on the outside, tender mm -hmm. on the inside. Mm -hmm. Really good. Absolutely. I recommend you guys make it, but remember the batter needs to be a little bit thicker. Thicker batter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for coming mm -hmm. to my mom's recipe box. We loved having you. If you like this recipe, hit the like button, tell all your friends, share it. Mm -hmm. um, subscribe. Subscribe. That's an idea. New recipes every week. And hit, hit the notification bell for to get notified of new content every Wednesday. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Stay Be safe. safe. Thank you.